uh, hello students so in this video we are going to see the operations that can be performed on drilling machines so there are different types of operation that can be performed on drilling machines so this is the topic uh, regarding this introduction to manufacturing for the subject systems in mechanical engineering so we will see the different types of operation that can be performed on drilling machines like uh, we have a drilling reaming boring counter boring counter sinking uh, tapping so some of these operations that can be performed on drilling machines so we'll see these operations one by one so first operation that can be performed on drilling machine is the drilling operation so drilling uh, if you see so by drilling operation we can make a round or i can say circular hole or cylindrical hole of the desired size uh, on a workpiece or a, we can say on a job or a product or a component. So say this operation, it is shown by this image. It is the drilling operations. Now, before drilling, uh, the center of the hole, it should be marked on object. So this center, it is object. Uh, the center, it is marked on an object or a component. And after that, the drilling process will be started. So, if you see uh, drilling machines, uh, it consists of some, uh, this is the workpiece. Now, this is the exit phase and this is the entrance phase of this object. So, this is the drilling tool and uh, this is the primary phase that is cutting edges and these are the secondary cutting edges. So, the drill is pressed at a mark point and that drill is fed into this object so the feed it is in this direction we have fed this drill tool which is rotating drill tool against this stationary workpiece so this is the drilling operations where uh, the coolant is also provided for these drilling operations now in this process the quality of finish will not be good so this quality of this drill hole is improved by the another operation that operation is called as a rimming operation so these are the different types of drill tools uh, that can be available for different diameter different sizes and again uh, for different length also so this is the drilling operation now the second operation is the rimming so after drilling we have a rimming operation now the tool which is used for this rimming operation it is called as a rimmer while in case of drilling operation it is called as a drill or a drill bit while in case of a rimming operation this tool which is used for this operation it is called as a rimmer tool now this is again a cylindrical tool with have a multiple cutting edges or many cutting edges so all these drilling rimming these are the tools that having a multiple multi point cutting tool while in case of lathe machine, we have single point cutting tool. So this is the rimming operation where there is already hole is there. That is drill hole is there. So by this rimming operation, uh, we can have uh, the size or we can say surface. It can be smoother. So these are the tools that is called as a rimmer tool. So these are having a different sizes and shapes. So rimmer cannot make a new hole, but it already drill hole. Uh, it follow that path and finishes into a correct size. So in this rimming operation or rimmer, it cannot make a new hole, but it can only allow the path which is already drilled by a drill hole and it finishes into a correct size. So for example, if we have uh, 8 mm, drill tool is there so we can have the exact 8 mm size by using this rimmer tool okay so this is the correction that can be takes place so we have already drill hole and we have a rimmer by which we can make uh, the desired size or finishes into a correct size so here the drill or we can say tool is rotating and this tool is feed against the workpiece which is workpiece is a stationary workpiece so this is the 
diagram or layout and this is the rimmer tool which is used for a uh, rimming operation for the uh, rimming operation that is the rimmer tool so this is the second operation that is the rimmer where uh, in that it only follows uh, that drill hole path and it uh, finishes it into a correct size or desired size and in this process the surface finish is highest in drilling process surface finish is less but in this process trimming process uh, surface finish is more next uh, we will see the boring operation uh, counter boring and counter sinking operations so boring is the operation uh, that operation is used to enlarge the already drilled hole so we have already drilled hole is there so we enlarge that hole into some other uh, diameter so that is called as a boring operation now for example already drill wheel hole is of say 8 mm so we can enlarge this 8 mm diameter into say 8.5 mm or 8.6 mm diameter so that enlarging is done by using the boring operation or boring tool now for that we use this boring tool uh, again this boring tool is a con uh, single point cutting tool all other tools uh, drilling tool rimming tool they are multi point cutting tool but this boring tool it is also a single point cutting tool now we have uh, two types of uh, boring operation will be there one is counter bore and another one is a counter sink now in case of counter bore the larger hole is drilled straight into material at a shallower path or we can say shallower depth than the smaller inner shaft so this leaves a flat bottom that will uh, rest a fastener on that so a fastener or we can say that can be sit on this uh, diameter so we, we have this minor diameter and this is major hole diameter so by using this counter bore we can enlarge the diameter of this only a major hole diameter for some length only not full length it is for some length where uh, the washer it can be fitted on that uh, fastener or washer it can be fitted in that counter bore bore while in case of counter sinking the larger hole is drilled with an angle so in this the angle is 90 degree so it is a rectangular type of structure is there here angle is a 60 degree angle so here we can say a triangular hole or can say triangular part is there so by which the major diameter hole gets drilled so ideally it is to match the tapered angle of fastener or we can say uh, the screw for which we done this counter sinking operation so again here depth is also low so in this counter sinking operation angle is 60 degree here angle is 90 degree that is the main difference between counter bore and counter sinking so if you see uh, this operation it is counter bore where uh, this fastener it is fixed inside this product and in counter sinking uh, this operation is a counter sinking where the counter sinking bolt it can be fixed or screw it can be fixed so on now this is the counter sinking after counter sinking the operation will be there and this is the counter boring okay so this operation is called as a counter boring and here this operation is called as a counter sinking operation now we will see the next operation that can be performed on drilling machine it is the spot facing now these all operations they are machining processes or we can say metal cutting operations that are called so next operation is the spot facing now it is operation to make a surface flat around the hole so that a washer or a nut it can be seated on that flatter part or flat surface so that operation is called as a spot facing so here uh, this is the spot facing operation that can be shown this is the workpiece and this is the tool which is required for spot facing operation so this is a spot facing tool so this area it is for a small dip where we can fit a washer or a small nut in that spot facing operation or in that product or component so the tool 
which is used for the spot facing operation it is called as a spot facer or it is also called as a spot facing tool so the spot facing is similar to a counter boring operation except it is used for spot facing as well counter boring it can be used for a counter facing as well we can uh, do the counter facing by using only counter boring operation in case of counter boring uh, the depth is greater while in case of spot facing the depth is smaller so this is the spot facing operation where uh, the spot facing is done so from which we can seat the washer or not inside this hole so next operation is the tapping now tapping operation it is the most important operation while in case of threading or thread cutting in lathe machine, uh, we can do mainly external thread. We can do internal threading also in case of lathe machine, but mainly it is used for external threading. But the tapping operation, it is done for internal threading only. So tapping is a machining process in which we can produce the internal thread inside the drill hole. So already drill hole will be there. So by using this tapping operation, we can done or we can do internal threading inside that drill hole. So for that, uh, generally tool is used to start that tool is known as tap. Okay, so this is uh, internal thread which having a pitch. So different tap is used for a different pitch to have that uh, thread inside the drill hole. Now tap, uh, it is again, uh, either it may be a cylindrical or it may be a conical thread cutting tool where thread of desired form it is formed on a periphery or on a, a drill hole. So it has a different pitch. So every tap has different pitch, different sizes. Now, uh, this is the tool which is used for this tapping operation that is called as a tapping tool. So this is the thread. So same thread, it can be uh, impressed or we can say cut in the workpiece also. So combination of uh, rotary motion with axial motion. So for this tapping operation, the rotary motion will be takes place as well as both axial motion will be takes place. So rotation of tap will be takes place as well as uh, we have the axial movement or we can say the downward movement of tap will be. And because of that, it will forms an internal thread. So like this, the internal thread will be cut out by using this tapping operation inside the drill hole. So these are the two operations that can be performed again on a drilling machine that is spot facing and the tapping. Now next uh, operation that is called as a trip panning. So it is again the, another operation that can be performed on this drilling machine. So in this trip panning operation, if you see, uh, mainly this trip panning operation, it is used to have a large hole to make a large hole by removing a metal along the circumference of the hole with the help of multi-point hollow tool. So if you see, this is a multi-point hollow tool. So this is one point, this is another, and this is another. So one, uh, we can make a hollow hole. Okay, so we have this hole already drill is there. So by this other two types of drill, we can make a hollow hole by using this, or we can say large hole by this uh, tree planning operation, or we can say tree planning cutting process. So this is the layout for this tree planning cutting process. So here workpiece is there, and these are the multi-point cutting tools, which is used for this tree planning operation. And after that, we get a size if you see drilling, we can only drill this type of hole size, but by using this tree panning operation, we can make a large hole size having a large diameter. So this process is used to making a large size hole. So if you see this large size hole, it can be done by using this uh, trapping, uh, we can say operation or metal cutting process. So this is a large style hole. It can be produced by using this trip panning operation. Okay. So this is the trip panning operation. 
So this, uh, these are the operations that can be performed on this uh, drilling machine. That is, first one is drilling, then rimming, then we have a boring operation in that boring, counter boring, counter sinking will be there. Then we have spot facing, then we have a, a tapping operation that is to have an internal thread and last one is this uh, tripping operation. So all these cutting processes operation that can be performed on drilling machines. And all these operations generally used to have a cylindrical hole or we can say a circular hole. So this is all about this uh, different operation that can be performed on drilling machines. So thank you for watching this video and also please subscribe to my channel and like uh, the video also. Thank you. Thank you.